Hey everybody, Jimmy Washam, professional bass angler. I'm here today to talk to you about EGR Auto Parts that we're about to put on the brand new Ford F-250 Super Duty. So the first step in installing your EGR Auto Products is you want to make sure your vehicle's clean. Uh, we gave the, the F-250 Super Duty a quick wash. The reason for that, two reasons. One, you want to make sure that the product installs correctly. Uh, you don't have any dust, dirt, grime, or stuff that gets in the way of the installation. And two, you want to make sure that your vehicle is going to be clean around the product after you've installed it. Um, just because it could be a little bit harder to clean those areas once you've installed product on your vehicle. So first step, wash the truck. So the next step is to take the product out of the package. You know, I bought these products online from one of many online dealers. You can find those at egrusa.com. And I had the product shipped straight to my doorstep, taking it out of the package, and now it's time to lay it out, pull the instructions out, and get ready for the install. All right, so the products we'll be installing today. Uh, got body side molding for the side of the vehicle, really enhances the look and, and keeps other people from getting your door dings on your vehicle. And we've got window visors. I love those. I'm going to talk more about them, but they're a must for an outdoorsman. And fender flares really beef up the look of the vehicle, keep the rocks off the paint. And then the hood guard that's going to make sure and, and uh, one, make your truck look great, but two, keep those bugs off your hood and your windshield. So uh, all this is, is no drill installation. It's, uh, I mean, super simple. If you follow the instructions, anybody could do it. My, my kid could probably do it. You just snap them on and go. And they're durable, last a long time. Best products made for your truck, EGR USA. All right, now we're going to install the window visors. We're going to start on the front window, and it tells you which one. This is the left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to start fitment on the front. You want to make sure that it fits um, into the, the channel there, and the, the outer part of the window visor needs to make sure that it's outside of the window channel. So it's just a easy fitment. Now, you'll notice that the visor is a little bit longer than the channel. That's so that it seats well. What you want to do is pull out at the center, use caution to fit the back of it into the channel, and then it will slide back in to the channel and fit just like that. And that's really all there is to it. And now what we're going to do is raise and lower the window about five times to make sure that the visor seats into the channel and then it's there. So from here we're going to raise and lower the window about five times. You want to pull out on the base of the rear of the window visor. You're going to completely raise the window. Just like that. Back down. And we're going to do that five times and what that does is seats the window visor into the channel and then it's there. All right, and that's the install. Now all that's left to do on this one is pull the stickers and it's time to move on to the rear window. All right, time for the rear window visor installation. You've got an adhesive strip on the rear, and all you're gonna do, if I can seem to catch it, is pull that strip off. It comes off just about all in one piece. And now, once again, we've got an L indicating our left side. We're gonna start to the front, make sure that it fits in the channel and to the outermost portion of the channel. So we slide that, get that started right there. We're going to pull out in the center to get it all the way in the channel. And then we're just going to gently work it up into the channel. You'll feel it seat. And now all we've got left to do 
just like we did on the front window visor, is raise and lower five times while we pull out on the outermost portion of the rear of the visor. Make sure it seats properly, and then we're good to go. Super simple, literally a 30-second install. So what we're doing now is preparing for the fender flare install and of course uh, had an unsuspected Tennessee rain shower so we pulled into the shop but what we're doing now is putting the, the cosmetic bolts onto the fender flares with a 10 millimeter wrench and a 3 16 allen and we're going to get all those installed and then hopefully the rain will quit and we'll be ready for the quick install onto the truck. Before we put the rubber molding on the fender flares, the area that it attaches, you want to take the included alcohol prep pad and just wipe the surface. That's to make sure that it's clean and free of any obstruction. And then make sure that it's dry and then throw on your rubber molding. So the next step for the fender flares is to attach the rubber molding that helps protect your vehicle where the fender flare makes contact with it and helps keep debris and, and dirt from getting inside of the fender flare. It's just an adhesive strip on the back and you just roll it on the, uh, the outer edge that's going to make contact with your vehicle. Quick and easy, we'll get this done on all four fender flares and then it'll be time to uh, attach them to the vehicle. Okay, our next step in the fender flare installation is we're going to take a 7 32nd socket and we've got five bolts that secure the vehicle fenders. We're going to go ahead and back those out. Now we'll fit the fender flare to the vehicle, making sure our rubber molding is pressed in place. Then we're going to loosely reinstall the rearmost bolt back into the vehicle fender through the EGR fender flare. Now we have four clips. These are the front fender clips. And what they're gonna do is secure the inside of the fender and then our remaining four fender bolts are gonna go back through the slot and the install will be complete.
that I've hand tightened the remaining four bolts uh, through the fender flares and through the clips that come with the EGR fender flare. Now we're just gonna take our 732nd socket and crank them down and uh, get them good and tight and we'll be good to go. That does it for the front fender flare. You can see it's super quick and easy. Now it's time to move to the rear. All right, for the rear fender flare installation, we've got six U-bolt shaped clips with barbs on them and all we're gonna do is fit the fender flare to the actual fender of the vehicle and take these six clips, align them with the slots cut in the EGR fender flare and snap them on and it'll be securely in place. Now that completes the fender flare installation. As you can see, they really enhance the look of the vehicle, but most importantly, what they're gonna do for you is, I'm, I've got some all-terrain tires on here and I'm probably gonna get some bigger tires to uh, pick the truck up a little bit and do a little better in the mud. And what those aggressive tires really do is catch rocks when you get on gravel. These fender flares not only make my truck look better, but they're also gonna protect those rocks from getting out of the wheel well and getting on my paint. All right, now for installation of the hood deflector, what we're gonna do first is obviously take it out of the package and we're gonna fit it to the hood and just make sure that it's even on both sides. And then what EGR recommends is to take a non-permanent marker and mark these two acrylic slots with the hood of the vehicle so that you can make sure that it's in line. And then you're gonna remove the hood deflector What you'll do now is pull back the rubber extrusion and there's gonna be line with our slots. There's gonna be a small cleat there 
that we see that we'll have to pull out with pliers and we'll do that on both sides and then we'll have hardware that comes with our hood deflector that replaces that to help secure it. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So here we line up with our mark, we pull down the rubber extrusion, I can feel a cleat there. I'm just going to pop that off and then take the pliers to remove that, snap right out. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right. And now we're gonna take the two screw plugs that come with our hardware kit from EGR. We're gonna insert those into the holes where we just removed the rubber extrusion cleats. protector just temporarily in place we want to line up these four holes there's two on each side of the hood deflector and you're going to take a non-permanent marker and put a mark underneath the hood to line those up and then what we'll do is pull the hood deflector off and place our pads that are included with the product onto the actual hood of the vehicle and that's gonna protect the paint when we later install the clips to secure the hood deflector. Right, next we're gonna clean the outer wing areas where the outer wing of the hood deflector is gonna make contact with the vehicle. And we'll clean this portion here. What that's doing is prepping for installation of these included rubber stops that will adhere to the hood to help protect the paint from the installation of the hood deflector. So after we have placed our abrasive resistant pads on the lip of the hood, we're gonna take our four clips and line those up with the hood, with the holes that are already in the hood protector. Slide the clips over the abrasive resistant pad. our metal clips on the outside of the hood lined up with the hole we we actually had the hood protector just loosely fitted on here to line up with the holes and now it's time to tighten the two screws into the screw plugs tighten those down good now that we know that we have it symmetrically aligned right after we've secured our two center bolts now we're going to go to the outside wing clips line them up with the holes and we will install four bolts into those and then we'll almost be done with our installation of the hood deflector it's important that you don't over tighten these you just want them good and snug
last step for the installation of the hood protector is we're going to take our last alcohol prep pad and where the screws come down and meet near the headlights we're going to clean that surface and then install our last four uh, abrasive resistant pads to line up with those and then we'll be done with the hood protector gives a great bold look to the front of the truck but I also notice when I have this hood protector on the hood deflector it really keeps uh, bugs from getting on my hood and my windshield I mean you can drive down the highway and you don't get all those those bug spots on your windshield and it's also obviously going to help and protect from rocks in front of the vehicle while you're on the roadway so uh, great accessory it makes your truck look better and has great benefit to it time to install the body side molding on the F-250. So it's properly identified on the back with a sticker. I've got the right hand rear side here and the only parts you're going to need is a, some type of non-permanent marker, tape measure, and some type of marking tape. It, uh, it recommends masking tape. What we have is electrical tape so we'll get by with that. But you're going to start with the recessed side of the side molding it's always going to go to the forefront to where the door opens and you're going to measure one inch from the back and you're going to put a mark with your non-permanent marker and that's where you're going to start the rear of the side molding and you're just simply going to line it up with the tape now what we've done is taken measurements from the top of the ridge line where the tape is to make sure that our uh, electrical tape is level and what we'll do from there is just line it up with the proper distance from the rear, pull a portion of the tape off and make sure it's level and then apply it to the truck. So here you're gonna fold out of covering about two inches of it you're going to try to make sure that you don't touch the actual adhesive so you don't diminish the strength of it you're going to fold it out at a 45 degree angle outward that's so that once we apply it to the vehicle we can have access to that covering to remove the rest of it and finish the application rear side molding is remove the tape and then uh, do the same thing on the front. Finishes up the install for the body side molding. Look 
that body side molding is going to do. It makes the truck look great. It really matches the fender flares and window visors, but it also helps you prevent door dings. You can park in a parking lot. You know, if somebody pulls up, it never ends. You can park in the last spot trying to protect your beautiful truck. If somebody pulls right up next to you. Well, when they open that door, it's going to hit that side molding instead of getting on your paint. So uh, not only it enhances the look of your vehicle, but it's also going to add protection to it. So that's going to finish up the installation of the EGR products. You know, all in all, it, it was super quick, easy. All the instructions, I'd say, from start to finish, other than the rainstorm we had and had to pull the truck in the shop, it took maybe two hours to put all four products on, from the hood protector, the fender flares, the window visors, and the body side molding. And of course, we followed the instructions, made sure that we did a clean and efficient install. These products are going to last you a long time. As you can see, they've made the truck look great. Uh, just from a cosmetic standpoint, but we've also got a lot of great benefits like being able to get fresh air ventilation in the cab of our vehicle, protecting our paint from rocks, protecting our paint from door dings, and also protecting the hood and the windshield from bugs and rocks. So we've got it all put on here. It makes the truck look great and also got a lot of great benefits to go along with it. Make sure you check out EGRUSA.com. They've got a list of available online dealers. You can find out a lot more about their products there, and you can also give them a call at the number listed on their website. Great people, easy to work with. They'll answer any questions that you ever have. And you can always reach out to me, Jimmy Washam Fishing on Facebook and Instagram, or even through YouTube where you'll find this video and ask me any questions. I'll be glad to help you along with the install or questions that you have on the product. I promise you, EGR USA, put it on your truck and you'll be happy.